Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video on pathophysiology questions for the competitive pharma examinations. Uh, the following questions I have taken from 2019 ESA pharmacist exam, uh, which will be useful for all competitive examinations. Let us see the questions first. The first question is, an increase in size of an organ or a tissue that is not associated with cancer is termed as? Options given are neoplasia, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia. All the terms uh, denotes a certain pathological feature in a cell. Let us understand one by one. See, the question asks about increase in size of an organ or tissue without associated with cancer. The first word is neoplasia is, is another synonym for cancer. Neo means new, plasia means increase in number of cells. Cancer occurs due to mutations and that mutation results in uncontrolled cell division. So neoplasia is related to cancer and it is not increase in size, it is increase in number of cells. So this is not the answer. Second one, hyperplasia. Hyper means increase in size, plasia, cell. So hyperplasia is the word which indicates increase in size, which may not be related to cancer. So this is the answer. Hyperplasia is increase in cell size. Let us see the other options. Metaplasia means transformation of one type of cell to another type of cell. This is usually seen in cancers also. So metaplasia means transformation of one type of cell to another type of cell. The last one, dysplasia means increase in size of abnormal cells. See, there is a slight difference between hyperplasia and dysplasia. Both of them indicates increase in size of a cell or organ. But in dysplasia, there is an increase in abnormal cell size. Now, so the question is, uh, uh, the, uh, the answer for the question is hyperplasia. Now, let us move on to the next question. Now, the disease that is completely eradicated from India through systematized immunization process is so there is a disease which is completely eradicated by immunization process. Uh, uh, options given are diphtheria, smallpox, whooping cough, leprosy. So the answer for this question is smallpox. See smallpox is eradicated in 1980s. Smallpox is caused by a variola virus. It is very fatal. It has caused a lot many deaths. So it is systematically eradicated by immunization process. The other options are diphtheria is caused by a bacteria called Cornibacterium diphtheriae. It causes apnea, uh, swollen uh, neck, causes respiratory problems. The option, other option, whooping cough is caused by Bordetella pertussis. Again, it is related to respiratory tract problem caused by a bacteria. Leprosy, Mycobacterium leprae, it causes leprosy. So the answer, the disease which is eradicated is smallpox. Let us move on to the third question. In Alzheimer's disease, which peptide level is elevated? Now, Alzheimer's is a, is a neuro, uh, neurological disease wherein uh, the major characteristic is amnesia, loss of memory and certain neuronal loss is there. So, it is uh, 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 which peptide is elevated? The options given are alpha hemoglobin, alpha amino adipate, beta amyloid, beta alanine. Now, the answer for this is beta amyloid peptide. Now, what happens is all these beta amyloid peptides comes together and forms aggregates and that is what causes disruption of cell to cell communication in nervous system. When this happens, neuronal immunological system is activated which attacks these peptides. In that process, neurons also get uh, destructed. So that is what results in Alzheimer's. So the answer for this question is option 3, beta amyloid protein. Alpha hemoglobin, beta hemoglobin uh, are the chains, peptide chains which make up hemoglobin in the blood. Now, alpha amino adipate is, is involved in glucose metabolism. Diabetes, one of the marker is alpha amino adipate. Now, beta alanine, uh, uh, see, uh, alanine is an amino acid. Uh, beta form of amino acid is beta alanine is. Okay, uh, let us go on to the next option. Now, marasmus is associated with. See, marasmus is a malnutrition disease. Now, it is associated with protein and carbohydrate deficiency. When, especially young children, when they do not have enough protein and carbohydrate, they will have muscle wasting, uh, uh, swollen, uh, swollen abdomen, uh, uh, all the characteristics are there. That is called as marasmus. Whereas one more disease is there, Kwashi Arkar, uh, it is characterized by protein deficiency. When, peop when, when kids have access to carbohydrates but they do not have enough protein intake, that results in Kwashi Arkar. But marasmus is related to both protein and carbohydrate deficiency. Option 3 is the right answer for this question. I hope this is useful. All the best.